Hey everyone, good morning. Happy Friday, May 29th of 2020. Um, let's jump into our number talk from yesterday. So, I'll rotate my lappy toppy. All right, we had some work it out uh, problems. So, over in our unit column, we had a number of addition facts with 10 being common to all of them. So go ahead and check those. Here in our blue column, we did a number of different multiplication problems. What did you notice about all of them? They all shared one multiplier. They all were being multiplied by one. And what did you find? You'll have to let me know. And moving over to our 100 column, we had some multiplication and division problems. 85 times 0 is 0. 0 times 4,562 0. 8,765,321 times 0 is 0. Hmm, I wonder, what's the pattern with anything multiplied by 0? And then with these few division problems, when you have these large ones, I like to make a story problem in my head. I have 49 worms, and I am going to give one, or I'm going to give, uh, excuse me, I have, <clears throat> I have 49 worms, and I am going to give them to 49 fishermen. How many does each fisherman receive? One worm. I have 49 worms. I'm giving them to 49 fishermen. Each receives one. I have 49 worms. I'm going to give it to one fisherman. How many does that fisherman get? 49 worms. I have 56 eggs, and I'm going to give them to 56, I don't know, uh, bunnies. 56 eggs to 56 bunnies. Oh, Mr. O made a juicy mistake. Each bunny will get one egg. I have 56 eggs, and I'm going to give them all to one bunny. That bunny will get 56. I have $100, and I'm going to give them to 100 students. Each student gets one dollar. All right, look for those patterns. I wonder if it applies to other situations as well. All right, now yesterday we thought a little bit about the theme um, from our Harriet Tubman story, and I wonder if you also came up with the theme of helpfulness. Harriet Tubman wanted to be helpful. That was the theme of the story, and she found that if you are helpful, oftentimes it makes you feel happier yourself. And that was the moral of, of that story. So now, in the last month, we've read and thought about four different historical people. Louis Pasteur, Helen Keller, Confucius, and Harriet Tubman. Now, each one of them became known for a certain virtue. Um, and I have all four of those virtues listed over here. I wonder, can you match the virtue to whomever it connects with? Go ahead and do so. Um, as a challenge, see if you can remember them on your own. Now let's reflect on what we've learned about these characters, because it's always important to think about how we connect. Which of these historical persons, Louis Pasteur, Helen Keller, Confucius, or Harriet Tubman, which of these historical persons do you admire most. Admire means who do you look up to and why? I'd love to hear those answers. Secondly, do you possess or have, do you have any of these four virtues? Which ones? Is there a virtue that you would like to grow? You may not feel that you have all four of those virtues fully yet, but that's okay, you're still young. And just like in the classroom, you can set goals for yourself at home. Perhaps if your goal is to be more honest, you could think of ways that you could practice that goal until it becomes a virtue that you no longer have to think about. It just comes out of you in your actions. So which ones do you feel you already have? Um, and then which one, if any, are ones you think you need to grow? <coughs> Pardon me. I have allergies this time of year. And to wrap up, yesterday we talked about this biome 
that has warm, wet summers. Some of the forests are deciduous, meaning the trees lose their leaves. Uh, some are coniferous, meaning they're full of evergreens who keep their leaves all winter. And there are still some that are up in the mountains. If you said the temperate forest, you were correct. I believe this would be a coniferous forest because it looks like we have a bunch of coniferous pine trees surrounding a river, which would be a wetland. There is a temperate forest at Prairie Winds that we visit, uh, and we have a lot of fun in. All right, this last biome is found near the equator. Remember the equator is the invisible line that goes around the center of the Earth? The weather there is consistent all year long. This biome receives between 60 and 160 inches of rain a year. 60 inches, that's five feet deep. So that's like when you're in a public pool, if you're in a pool, five feet is probably the middle section. The lowest, the shallowest is probably like three feet, then five feet. And then the deepest end oh, is probably 12 feet, 160 inches. That's, that is about 13 feet deep. That much rain occurs in this biome every year. Because of all this rainfall, sometimes this biome is called a rainforest. Where am I? Tune in on Monday to review that Where Am I? And instead of reading a story next week, we're just going to do some reflection questions about our year as it is coming to an end. It's coming to a close. And it's been a very unique year for you, for me, for your families, for pretty much everyone in the world. This has been a very unique school year. Um, so we're going to think about some of our favorite memories, um, some of the things we learned, some of the things we appreciated, and we will wrap the year up by going through some of those. So I hope you have a great weekend. I hope the weather is nice and that you have a nice time with your family um, and find ways to be honest, to believe in yourself, to be helpful, and to be determined. Bye, everyone.